Hey, how's it going? This is a brand new camera. Looks good, right? How can I improve my player's attributes and ability? It's a key question in Football Manager and it has been since the dawn of time. Now player development isn't an exact science but there are certain ways and certain methods you can use to improve your chances of getting that player right to the top of their potential. And today in the video we're going to talk about them. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the patrons to start with. It is thanks to you guys that I've been able to upgrade my camera and hopefully the production values have just gone up. A couple of percent at least, surely. So if you want to support the channel, the link is in the video description. Today we're going to go through the top five ways to help improve your player's attributes. Method number one is improve your coaching staff. Now I speak a lot on the channel and on my channel, FM Wonder Kids, which I'll link above, about coaches and about making sure you have the correct coaches. So if you're on the main screen here and you go over to the left, and then if you go from training up to the top right section, coaches. From here, you go all the way over to the right to edit coach assignments. And this is the holy grail screen. Basically, your aim is trying to get as many stars as you can on each discipline along the bottom row here. So that's goalkeeping, shot stopping and handling defending tactical and technical, attacking tactical and technical, possession tactical and technical, fitness, strength and quickness. The better the coach you have, the more impactful their attributes are on improving your player's attributes. So if we look at one of my best coaches here in my Wickham Wonder Kids save, which I'll link above if I remember, Daryl Flahaven is a goalkeeping coach who's got four and a half stars. Now four and a half stars is pretty excellent but you can see his attributes here goalkeeping distribution handling and shot stopping are all above 16 as well as the key holy trinity which i always talk about which is motivating determination and level of discipline that makes for a top top level coach and in turn will make for top top players method number two is to improve your training facilities now you might say to me reese training facilities how do I even know how good my training facilities are? Well, there is a team information screen, which you can find if you go to the left-hand side of your screen here and you go to club information. And then from the club information screen, you go to facilities along the top. And then from facilities, you scroll all the way down and you will see training facilities. Here at Wickham, we have good training facilities. So really what I should be doing is asking the board to upgrade those. And to do that, I go over to the club vision screen here on the left. Then I go to make board request here on the right and I choose facilities. And there should be an option there to improve your training facilities. But you can see here, we are already improving our training facilities. The standard of training facilities has a huge impact on determining the chance of a player's attribute developing, how close to their potential they can get and how likely they are to continue developing overall. Better facilities encourage a greater chance of a player realizing his true potential. Having excellent training facilities can also help your coaches develop, and in turn, that obviously helps your players. Next up is a part of the game which is largely ignored by a lot of people, including myself, and that is training. So if you go to the left-hand side here and click on training, you have a whole world of opportunities, which I don't really delve into myself, to be honest with you, and I probably should. A player develops most through day-to-day -day training. His overall development is affected by the quality of the facilities and coaches. The teammates he is training with, the appropriateness of the schedules he is given, whether he's with the first team or any of the club sub-teams. Also key to this is additional training and workload. Now, individual additional training and workload is something I do get involved in very heavily. And you can see here, I've got my goalkeeper, Miguel Acosta, training on his goalkeeping reactions and double intensity. I always like to give my goalkeepers double intensity because they generally do less work than anyone else on the pitch. They don't run around, they just stand in between the goals. This section of football manager can have a huge influence on how a player's attributes develop. 
The more of these things you can absolutely nail down in your team to a high standard, so that's the coaches, the training, the individual training, the quicker a player is likely to develop towards their full potential. Method number three is I think the most important method and that is playing time. A player with greater exposure to first team football is far, far likelier to reach his potential than a player who hasn't had that chance. First team football is far, far better than reserve team football. So if you've got a player who is coming up to his 20s and he's not getting in your team and there's no chance that you're gonna play him for at least 10 games a season, either think to yourself, well, is there a way I could sell one of my 30 year olds who I don't want and give this guy 10 games a season? Or shall I loan him out to a club where he's gonna get that first team experience? If this player isn't gonna get first team experience, there's no point in him being at your club. You should probably get rid of him. But if you've got a player that you want to develop and you want those attributes to get really, really high, you need to be playing him in the first team. Method number five for improving your player's attributes is mentoring. Now if you go to the left-hand side of your screen again and you go to training, and from training you head up to the top menu bar and click mentoring, you will see a page which is normally blank. Now you can either ask your assistant to assign mentoring groups or you can do your own groups. It's always quicker to ask your assistant and if you've got a good assistant, you can usually trust them with things like this. I'll ask my assistant now to create a group and here he's just created two core mentoring groups. Young players can develop by working closely during training with a more experienced teammate or teammates within their squad. Their mental attributes and player traits are the only areas affected during mentoring. Mental attributes are really, really key in Football Manager and by utilizing the mentoring part of the game, you can really have a boost on your players' mental attributes. Now I've asked my assistant to create a mentoring schedule type thing here and he's done two but that's obviously not my whole squad so i can add my own group then as well call it number one click ok and then i can select every player that isn't already selected in a group and add them to mentoring group number three that might not be the optimal way to do it you might want to match players personality which was key definitely in previous football manager games but this will surely have more of an effect on your players attributes than totally leaving it completely blank guys that's it for today thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video do remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new we aim to get videos out every tuesday and saturday here on the fm blog channel so again thank you very much for watching speak to you soon